Hey guys, so this week we built the whole entire back half of the frame, well, most of it, and then we'll talk about what's coming up next. frame rebuilding the f100 we've got most of the rear of the frame done now we built we have the main beams grafted onto the irs subframe and then we built this bridge to kind of help brace the forces to the back of it into the main beams it'll also carry our coilover mounts and <clears throat> help support the back half of the frame when we get that set up that'll hold the gas tank and the bumper we set it up this high so it'll help it'll actually be close enough it'll tie into being part of the bed mount too um it's actually it looks taller just because the frame rolls on this frame go straight back instead of kicking up like they would if it was a a stock frame we did we did an X-brace on the front, or I guess middle part of the frame. And then this will be 
tie it in with the muffler hangers. It'll tie in with the transmission cross member. And then we haven't figured out if we're going to add any other bracing back here. Um, I think we're good. Probably do a little more looking at it as we get further along. Um, we're also kind of being careful as we don't eat up our space for exhausts because we're still going to stay with the same way we had it last time where we kick it up over the rear axle and come out the sides of the bed. Um, we could go under the rear end. I know a couple of guys with the IRS have gone underneath. We didn't want to do that because it kind of ties in and messes up where our gas tank would be. Um, plus we're also trying to keep the those rear mufflers that help keep it within noise limits kind of hidden. Other than that, I think the middle part of this is done until we get it up on the lift and I can get underneath it and fill in a couple of empty holes and tabs and things. <clears throat> Other than that, um, most of the welding on it's done. Amanda got to do a little bit of welding on it. She didn't do too bad. Well, had to fix a couple of them. Shush. <laughs> But for the most part, everything looks good. Everything should be nice and strong. So the next step we're going to do with the new frame is copy this offset from the main frame beam to where the cradle for the front cradle sits. Um, that'll include, we've got to remanufacture the mounts for the back of the front control or lower control arms and then redrill, relocate. We'll end up cutting out the frame stands from this frame and reusing them. We've got to make the uh, <clears throat> front cross member and then the tie-ins for the bumper and the uh, core support. And we'll probably end up doing our new spline splay, splined sway bar while we're at it. Um, if you look at the table, we've got the offset from the mainframe beams to where it kicks up for the front IFS cradle. So we're going to end up cutting, mitering those beams and extending them across this level. So once we get some of the front of the frame figured out, mm -hmm. laid out and welded up, then we can start on the back of the frame again, put some wheels on it, get the bed on it and keep moving forward. So stay tuned guys. Thank you.